Let's move on in our project to make a full animation to part 3, animation. Back over to MovieZoo. Here we go. Okay, in MovieZoo we've got the set built and lit and the characters are in place. Let's start off the animation process by importing all the sound that we're going to need. The principal one of which is the dialogue. So we'll start with that. Let's prepare dialogue and import this one here, Rubbish Ninjas. Now I always, I never put my dialogue right at the start of a movie zoo animation. I always give myself, in this case, three seconds of run up time. Just it's three seconds of junk time at the start. Um, which is quite handy to have sometimes. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers. We're ninjas. Okay, that's all sounding fine. I think that I will have to adjust this timing given that the dialogue doesn't start until the red guy walks up to his position. So, um, anyway, let's go with that just now. Let's also prepare audio and bring in our background ambience. Import city ambience right here. Now you can hear that's just kind of background noise of cars and what have you. I'm going to turn that down because we don't want it to fight with the dialogue in the scene. Right about there. Okay. Um, sound effects we'll leave just now because we're not going to do sound effects until later on. But we probably will just need some. Oh, why not? Let's just do some footsteps right now. Let's prepare them as well. Let's choose um, character footsteps. Concrete step one. Okay. And choose. Character footsteps, concrete step two. And we might as well, for good measure, choose character footsteps, concrete step four is better. Okay. That's everything imported. Next stage in the prepare dialogue thing is to actually tell who's talking at the start. Now, as it turns out, this guy, black guy, is the first guy to have dialogue. So when we set our ta talking stuff, we'll just say only me talk. And that turns on his lip syncing and it switches it off for yellow and red. Now it's worth, again looking back at the storyboard, we've got this first shot to do where the guy walks onto camera, they go up, they meet, they have a conversation. We haven't set up this camera shot just yet, that's okay, we can, we can do things as we need it. And uh, we've got this camera shot already. So yeah, let's just start the animation process. So the first guy we're going to animate is this guy right here, Red Ninja. We want to animate him walking up to the Black Ninja. So let's go to Prepare, Character Actions, and see if there's anything we need to think about. His initial state is happy, that's fine. Um, we don't really need to preload anything in here, because he's not going to be doing anything special, other than, say, conversing, which we'll just use movies as random poses for that. This chap here, I want to set his initial state as angry. He's a bit fed up at having to wait around. And I would like to do some more ambitious animation with him, so I'm going to load in some angry poses. Well, let's just let's cancel that and get a little bit closer so we can see the preview. Oh, don't want to do that. Prepare character actions. And into here I want to load up some angry poses. Let's see what we've got. Got me. We've got hand left, shake fist, conversational. I'll have conversational one, I think. And I think into here I'll load up something else. Um, do 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 and left me. We'll do me. Those are quite good for conversations. And I guess while we're at it, we might as well set this guy up. All I want him to have is a big happy wave. That's a strong happy. That's the one. That wave right there. He doesn't need anything other than that loaded. 
Right, let's do some character animation. Let's pull back a bit, start with him, walk him onto the set. Let's go to direct, character movement. And we're going to just try and walk him straight up to his position around here. Now here's a nice, here's a quite a cool trick. What you can do before you do any sort of animation, you can actually go and physically place him where you'd like him to end up. So I think I'd like him to end up there. So what I tend to do in this case is under the abstract objects, I'll put a tiny little cube scaled right down. And I'll use that as a little helper object. Just so I'm reminded of where I want them to end up. And I can always delete that before I come to make my, before I come to make my final movie. Anyway, let's go ahead. Direct character movement. Hit records. I won't do anything for the first few seconds. I like a bit of junk time at the start. And we'll just drag this in. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? Okay. So he's not quite ended up on the cube, but that's okay because we can rewind and we can adjust him such that his movement path ends up on that cube. He's going to catch the edge of that car, so I'm going to push that backwards a little bit. Let's see how that looks. When he goes, what the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? Cool. I'm happy with that. Don't worry about the audio just yet. In fact, let's just shift that audio. Um, it's that green track there as a dialogue. So I, d I don't want the animate, I don't want the audio to happen until this guy's reached his marker, which, as you can see, is at the end of this blue thing. So let's let's bump the audio until after there, and I rewind and play and see if that's any better. So he walks on to shot. What the hell are you wearing? Well, there's a bit of a gap, so we we'll just pull that a little bit tighter. Okay, I'm going to press save at this point, so that we don't lose it. Okay, so that's the first piece of the animation done. I want this guy actually now to turn round and face him when he appears on set. So let's direct his movement. Rewind, hit record, and I'm just going to use the on the spot stuff right here. What the hell are you wearing? There we go, that's him in position. And now we're going to do some character animation. Let's go to direct dialogue. And we'll, we'll work out who's actually doing the talking. Let's hide this as well. So I could go through this, um, I could go through this dialogue and actually use cue points just to, um, just to tell me where things are going to change, that's probably a good idea. So let's just press play and I'm going to use the insert key or you could use this button right here to make cue points uh, to tell you when characters are going to stop speaking. So let's let's just press play and I'll, I'll use the insert key. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers, we're ninjas! You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, he said nothing in the job description about us having to wear black. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. Alright, lads, sorry. Cool, right, so I put down some uh, markers on the, cute, on the uh, track there. And I've got the script in front of me. I was actually reading the script so I knew exactly where to pr uh, place these. That's another good idea, or another good reason for having a script at your disposal. Right, let's do the, uh, let's do the lip syncing now. So, dialogue, direct dialogue of this guy. Um, he starts off talking, let's hit record. I'm going to watch the cue points when to press the shush button. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers, we're ninjas! You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, it said nothing in the job description about us having to wear black. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. Alright, lads, sorry I'm late. Okay, that's him done. Let's direct this guy's dialogue now. Record. I'm just going to hit the talk and shush buttons. One eye on the cue points. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? 
We are not the Power Rangers. We're ninjas. You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, is that nothing in the job description about us having to wear black? Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. All right, black. Okay. Finally, this guy. Now, we won't go all the way back to the start. He's only got one line. Let's do it from here. Where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. Alright, lad, sorry I'm late. Had a bit of car trouble. That's us. So that's the lip syncing pass done. What else can we do? We've done locomotion. We've done lip syncing. Let's do some animation now. Let's do this guy. And go to direct character actions. Now we loaded in some conversational stuff. And uh, uh, an animation called me. Let's just file these and see how they look. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers. We're ninjas. You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, they said nothing in the job description about us having to wear black. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. All right, lad. Sorry I'm late. Cool. That's him done. Happy with that. Let's do the uh, Red Ninja. And we're just going to use happy poses for him. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers. We're ninjas. You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, they said nothing in the job description about us having to wear black. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. All right. Okay, that's him done. And the last guy to do is the yellow chap right here. And he's just got a big wave to make. Again, we don't need to rewind all the way to the start. Let's go to here and just add in his wave. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. All right, lad. Sorry I'm late. Had a bit of car trouble. Cool, that's him done. See how easy it is? You just go through and you make your anime. So let's see what other passes we can do. How about some eye and head movement? That's always good for giving characterization. Let's start with the black guy. Get ourselves front on because then the head control left equals left and right equals right. Let's hit record. We'll make it such that he's following somebody on. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers. We're ninjas. You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, they said nothing in the job description about us having to wear black. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. All right, lad. Sorry I'm late. Had a bit of car trouble. Okay, that's him done. Let's do this one. Rewind. Hit record. I'll give him some head movement. What the hell are you wearing? Oh, it's my new suit. Do you like it? We are not the Power Rangers. We're ninjas. You should be wearing black to be stealthy. Well, they said nothing in the job description about us having to wear black. Anyway, where is the other? There's supposed to be two of you. All right, lad. Sorry I'm late. Had a bit of car trouble. His head done. Yellow guy, I'm not going to bother with. I think he's fine as he is. What else could we do? We could do some eye movement as well, I guess, uh, but I'm just going to leave it with just the head movement. 